Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. <laughs> um, weird angle. Sorry, I don't know if this will make the lighting better or worse. But today, I it's 9pm. I didn't really feel like vlogging. I haven't felt like vlogging <laughs> this entire month, I'm not going to lie. And it's not like other years where I was sad. I'm just exhausted for no reason. My job isn't that demanding, so I don't know what's going on, but I've just been so exhausted. I come home from work and like I'm ready to sleep at like 6 p.m. Um, but besides that, next year vlogmas will be better i say that every year but next year i'm gonna put my energy into it because this year i have no energy so manifesting that 2020 i have a lot of energy last year wasn't that bad i just got uploaded very late <laughs> because i was really depressed and then the year before that would have been great <laughs> except i was in the hospital multiple times <laughs> and then yeah the year before that was good so <laughs> Yeah, I'm just hope it's better. But like I said, or maybe I didn't say, I have to make cookies. <laughs> Tomorrow's my last day at work before Christmas. So when I was at home, I baked a lot of cookies that I froze. And now they get hot, and I hope they didn't break. So I have, I'm in my hotel room, which I have to pack up. But I have all these cookies that chilling and then we have these candies these sprinkles these sprinkles more sprinkles frosting i swear i thought i brought like sprinkle sprinkles but now i got my frosting knife so i thought we could do fun little I shouldn't hold it I <laughs> uh, decorate with me maybe with this frosting you know get that thumbnail I thought we could do a decorate with me and a life chat drink my juice non-alcoholic and my water because I'm dehydrated I have um the impeachment on TV, of course. You all know me and my news and my politics. There's less than 14 minutes until we find out. So, wow. That's, man. Right now, it's at 123.71, um, which I think is crazy. Also, a Democrat said Trump shouldn't be impeached which is more crazy so by the end of this video we'll find out if the house impeaches him and just because the house impeaches someone doesn't mean that they're impeached because Bill Clinton had the house impeach him which I don't agree with <laughs> um but the senate didn't impeach him impeach him which is smart um and honestly if Bill Clinton got impeached and Trump doesn't I'm just fucking done. But enough politics. My political science minor is coming out. Although I will admit I follow more Canadian politics. So it's probably going to get cut out because I don't want to be controversial. But here are my cookies. Um, I kind of want to eat one to make sure they taste good. Because I used a new recipe. And um, don't worry. I already washed my hands. What are we at? Oh. Sorry if I keep looking over here. I just find this very interesting. And it's funny too, because you just see all the commotion, everyone talking, all the hand movements and gestures and stuff. I'm, I'm a communication major. Um, and I can't hear the words because I muted it because I don't think I can get copyrighted on that, but I probably could. It's YouTube. So, I got this cookie. Sorry, just texts. Um, and yeah, I got whipped vanilla frosting. 
this is probably gonna be like a 30 minute video so i'm sorry if you thought this would be quick because <laughs> i also have 30 minutes on my thing i should have probably dyed this green i realize i don't know how many people i actually work with i'm also in my pajamas and then my cardigan because i got in my pajamas at 4 50 when i walked in the door i didn't feel like real clothes anymore um yeah like i said i'm just exhausted but anyways the point of this video besides decorating yep <laughs> cookies with me is i really want to talk about things i've learned in 2019 and honestly i'm just gonna do this because i i'll say i'll do a main channel video on it and maybe i will and it'll be better edited but like i doubt it <laughs> the way I've been I'm being completely honest but honestly if 2019 and if I cry in this video I'm sorry my period's supposed to start today but now it's saying tomorrow I don't I just downloaded the app so I could have got some dates wrong <laughs> um 2019 was a pretty emotional year for me and also a milestone year for me can you see me decorating like is there even a point <laughs> um so in 2019 i started the year out in montreal this is turning into my yearly wrap-up video but i started the year off in montreal with some of my best friends and it was honestly pretty fun i had a really stressful 2018 literally almost died not being dramatic <laughs> um and then i just i the October to December I've never been so depressed I found out I have panic disorder I quit my job because it was stressing me out I was underappreciated underpaid and it was just a really rough time for me and then it really made my last semester of university really hard then I finally graduated the day after my birthday which was the worst day I'd say my graduation weekend was probably the worst weekend of my life. Besides like when my grandmother died, that was pretty fucking bad. Uh, am I allowed to swear on YouTube? Um, so, yeah. I guess I'll talk about it because I've never publicly talked about it and I don't really talk about it anyways because it really upsets me and I don't want to sound petty and I always feel awkward if anyone ever watches this that was in this situation but basically I hate my university and it never used to be like that I used to be my university's number one fan I don't know how many people I recruited and I talked great things about my university too and they royally screwed me over and to top it off I worked for the university all four years part one and then sorry this is i don't think i'll cry at this part i mean maybe who freaking knows my emotions get everywhere i already was angry today and i can feel my blood boiling i got these at the dollar store oh uh, i don't know if i can use these you said they went bad in 2014 has it really been that long okay i just bought these ones so like we're good do sprinkles even go bad okay damn unfortunate I'll put, I won't throw those out. I'm going to put them on my gingerbread house because I don't actually eat that. I didn't think gingerbread houses were meant to be eaten. So I know, getting back to the story. So basically there was this big award dinner. They had me sit up in the VIP area and I'm like, well, maybe I'll finally be recognized for everything I did. And I wasn't. Not only did I not get the big leadership award, the award that I got was, I got to shake these, I think. The award that I got was most photogenic, which really bothers me because everyone always just called me like a pretty blonde or a pretty girl and like thanks, but I'm so much more than that. So getting that and sitting in front of everyone, well, one, I was on stage when they announced it and then getting that and then being and then having to go back and sit down like i wanted to leave but i was in front of everyone and my family was there and they wouldn't let me and after that i literally went back to my hotel because i already moved out of my college town which was another thing that happened that was 
unexpected. So I went back to my hotel and I literally cried for the entire night. <laughs> and I'm, I guess I am going to cry. What else is new? Um, although I will admit I'm back to not really crying. And I still think I've ever been at one of like the lowest parts of my life. I just remember I couldn't stop crying. I was so upset. I, clearly I'm still upset to this day. And I was so ashamed and angry. Like that's so not okay. <laughs> um, like the amount I did for that university is <laughs> like to be repaid by that. I was so freaking mad and other things were going on in my life. Um, at that time that I was dealing with but and the thing like I got a $500 award with that and I would have and the other award was more money and like do I need money because I have a lot of loans and I gotten like no scholarships yeah but I would have rather have gotten like an award like saying how much I did for the university <laughs> with no money than most photogenic. Although it is funny because now I can tell people that they can't call me ugly because I was voted most photogenic. And technically it was a leadership award, but it wasn't called that. <sighs> Anyways, I, so that happened and that might seem so mundane, but imagine giving your everything to something for four years of your life, bringing people in telling people all over the world how great it is and then for you to be screwed over like that so the next day was my 22nd birthday and i woke up still crying and still upset and the night before i decided i wasn't going to go to my graduation because i was just so freaking done sorry still emotional um and my mom told me, yeah, no way. And then my aunt said no because my uncle was driving. I'm not from where I went to school. It's like, it's a trek. It's six, seven hours. So my uncle was driving in too because it was a really big deal that I was graduating. And, um, so yeah, so I had no choice. I had to go to graduation, which wasn't on my birthday. It was the next day. So my actual birthday like I said I woke up crying and then I went to Starbucks <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling this um anyway so I went to Starbucks which is like my favorite place so that kind of made it better I got a pink drink you know for free that made my day better I went and picked up my number of balloons for a photo shoot and then I honestly don't remember what I did I probably honestly cried oh I went to go visit some old friends like old co-workers that were really nice to me when I worked for I worked at the I worked at students union so it's not like university staff so I went and I to go visit them because they're great so that made my day better and then I spent a good chunk in therapy <laughs> which kind of made me better but I didn't get to bring up what happened honestly because I was ashamed that was my last therapy and clearly I still need to go to therapy. And sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I am trying to do this because it's getting late. It's 9 p.m. and this is crackhead hours for me now. Um, so I went to therapy and then, I don't know, I just, I hate all my birthdays. Like, they're never good. I think I'll try these things. I got a Sobeys for $3.74, which is pretty cool. Um... I should have brought a spoon. That would have been helpful. So I went to therapy. And then I went to dinner with one of my friends and my mom and my aunt. And it just wasn't a good birthday. I already was in a bad mood. I didn't feel loved. What else is new? And yeah. And then the next day was graduation and I already hated everything. And that wasn't too bad. But none of my profs went, which really upset me. Because they're the only reason that I made it through. The, this was, I should have just used red. There's a lot of green in here. So, yeah. Anyways, the whole point of it is 
after all that happened, I went home. My mom had her surgery and I flew to Toronto for a while because I had to leave. I was just so done and that's where I wanted to live. And I came back ready to move to Toronto and I broke my leg. And then after I broke my leg, I fell into a deep depression again pretty much until I went back to Toronto and that was fun and then I came home and I was pretty I didn't get depressed right away but pretty much away and I wouldn't even say I was depressed but I didn't get into grad oh yeah that's the other thing I didn't get into grad school which I already paid a hundred dollars for um, which is a lot of money when you don't have money and um, basically they said that they're still accepting people and they weren't which kind of made me mad because can I have my money back um, so I didn't really know what to do because I didn't want to work because I was abused at my last job this literally looks like a child made this <laughs> So, it was just a very rough year, and I sold pretty much all my belongings, and I left the place that I thought felt like home. And honestly, nowhere feels like home. It doesn't feel like home there anymore. I'm so glad I left. There's just so much bad energy there for me right now. And I don't know if I'll ever go back, but I sold everything that I wanted to... I worked so hard. I blew through all my savings. Just trying to live. I went to Starbucks probably too much, but whatever. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I, um, that's a backstory. And I know you probably don't care, but I'm going to keep it in because I don't care. Um, and when I'm doing so much better, the battery's also dying. I can't wait to be like, wow, you were so upset. And now look. Now look at your life. I put a tray down so there won't be friggin' stuff everywhere. Um, so yeah, basically what I want to say is as much as it doesn't seem it, I'm so much happier now. I'm in a temporary position where I'm actually treated with a lot of respect. I'm paid for all the work I do and I get money for overtime and they pay for me to live in this hotel so that's really good but basically I have no friends and you might think that's sad but I don't mind it um as much as I thought I would I'm very much a social person but I've just been hurt so many times I guess I didn't even mention about all my toxic relationships of 2019 and 2018 but I got rid of them like I generally would say I have two or three friends now and I'm not mad about it um my best friend is probably my 59 year old aunt she'll be 60 in May and I don't mind that I think it's good um I pretty much cut everyone out of my life I stopped using Instagram, which I want to start using again for me and not care what other people think because I love Instagram, but as much as you might think that's so sad you don't have friends, honestly I've never been happier. Like I don't need um, lots of people in my life that aren't ride or dies. Like, I've slowly been cutting people out, probably. Um, I did a big sweep when I left uh, my hometown, like, after high school. And then, I guess I did, I slowly cut more and more people out through university, then I really cut them out when I left. And that's fine, but I mean, if only one person shows up to your birthday, you don't need other people in your life. So. Yeah, I'm just done with people. And I feel like that's why I like this job so much too. Is because I know it's not permanent. They respect me. And I'm not out here trying to make 
a career for myself or make friends. I'm literally here to collect a paycheck and then pretty much sleep. And honestly, I think that's good enough now. I mean, don't sleep that well at night, but I'm definitely sleeping better than I did in the summer where I didn't sleep. I physically couldn't. Now I wake up about four times a night, but I sleep. So I think that's a lot better. I mean, I'm always exhausted, but not like before because I actually sleep. Um, and I do whatever I want. <laughs> um, which is why I really want to start getting into YouTube. Oh, oh. Wait. Trump is being impeached. You're welcome. I'm a news reporter. They needed 216 votes and they got 228. One Republican voted to impeach him, but two Democrats didn't. So I'm very interested in that. But, yeah. So it's actually past 1030. Um, watching the Mass Singers on FaceTime with my aunt for an hour. Because we always watch it together. But it's two hours. And honestly, I'm not feeling good and I'm super tired. But finished the beautiful cookies and I cleaned up a bit so I'm gonna set my alarm earlier and hope that I'm feeling better in the morning I know I don't feel good because I had a binge night which wasn't smart and I haven't binged like this in a very long time there's the remote part one part two um my period's supposed to start, like I said, TMI. Sorry, just being real with y'all. So, there's that. And, yeah, hold on. So, I just put my hair up. Today was just a very emotional day. I'm sorry if you hear the mass Singer in the background. They're voting, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, they just unveiled, or no, they just announced the Flamingo came in third, which I figured. I think the Fox is going to win. I've always thought that since day one. The dog made it pretty far. I hope that's <laughs> Kevin Jonas. Um, anyways, they're getting ready to unveil the Flamingo. But today was just a very emotional day for me. And just not, it wasn't a bad day, but... I, I'm sorry, my camera cut off earlier when I was trying to do what 2019 taught me. But I want to add this. Because this happened to me and my family. So, a little backstory. The day that I filmed that we were going to the nursing home where my grandmother used to stay at. I don't know how much I talked about this. Um, but we go to the nursing home my grandmother lived in for the last years of her life. I think my aunt just left the mass singer. Um, <laughs> anyway, so every year my aunt and her work friends, our old neighbor, my mom's work, and hold on, sorry. I'm going to film my reaction to the fox. I should have done it for the other guy because I was shook. So let's see who the fox is. I won't actually mention it because I, well, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't want to be mean. Who is it? I think it's Robert Downey Jr. or Jamie Foxx if you watch the show. Aw, Wayne Brady. Don't get me wrong, I don't know who he is. I just really hope that it would be, you know, one of those two. Yeah, <laughs> sorry my reaction sucks. <laughs> He's really good though. He should drop some fire albums, I'll buy. Well, stream on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs>